people who have been watching our show are very aware that we have always, and I think we've done three shows on that same topic, saying that the creation of a government to fight a liberation struggle is a very challenging and, and wrong approach. Because what you're doing is you're interjecting politics in, 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 in what should really be a, a fight by, by professionals who are structured properly in a hierarchical way in order to be efficient in the fight. So, Rogers, um, I think you're aware that I think for the past two or three weeks, uh, there has been a fight with the, with the, um, between uh, Sako and, and Seseko's teams. And, and before we, we go into it, I want, I want to give a little background because I think most people, when they start looking at that situation and start make, drawing conclusions, they're not looking at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the origins of the problem or they're not looking at the history of it. So what I understand to be the history was that um, a few weeks ago, I think there were two secret meetings between, between the Sako team and the... And, and, and the um, and Seseko's team. And in those meetings, um, there, there, was, there were disagreements. There were disagreements by the Sako team. They were not agreeing what uh, Seseko was saying. And, uh, and most of what we knew that was, that, that most of what we know about the disagreements came from, from uh, Chris Anu's reporting. Uh, one was that, one was that um, they wanted SCBC and A, that's the sequel one is A, 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 ABC and SCBC to come together and let's just have one station because he thought it was too expensive. It's a waste of money running two television stations. Uh, the other one that I know, and Roger, if you have another one, you can add. The other one that I know was that they wanted uh, the, the two conferences, the APNC conference, and I think the other one that was organized by, I think, the Washington conference. They wanted those two to come to be one conference, not making two conferences. So they were. So Seseko was looking for a way to start bringing uh, the to start bringing the Ambazonian people or the Ambazonian uh, resources together. Uh, but 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 uh, the Sako team was was not in favor of that. And uh, and um, we did hear we did hear. Uh, Chris Anu say that uh, they will not take uh, orders from behind bars. That's what we heard from Chris Anu. But we did not hear what, uh, what Sako himself said. But there is a, there is a, a, a write up here by Barretta News, which, which, uh, which uh, did report, and I had a copy of it. So I'm going to read that it's not, a, it's not only Chris Anu who said he will not take orders from behind bars. Uh, here's what Sako said, and, uh, and reported by uh, Barita News. As acting president who took over office in the midst of uncertainties, I have demonstrated loyalty to the flag and its uh, leadership abducted and kept incommunicado for over 11 months. Even at a time when we were not sure if our president was alive or dead, I kept believing in hope against all hopes. To fight without restraint, just to just to secure justice for him, I will not be naive at this time to despise wise counsel from Mr. President in detention. But there's one thing I will not do, not because I question his mental soundness or intellectual capacity, not by any political calculation, but as a matter of governmental and constitutional principles. I will not allow policy decisions to be left in the hands of anyone who has lost his freedom, held in captivity as a hostage or a prisoner, not even in the confinement of the Roque Francobeti dungeons of Yaoundé. Uh, this was reported by Barita News and this was reported February 10th, 2019. So, so that's the history which, which, uh, which, which preceded some of the public uh, pronouncements that were heard from uh, from uh, Chris Anu, and then, and then um, um, we're going to follow with the rest. Do you have anything to add to this before we continue? Uh, well, you want? <laughs> I mean, um, let, we can go back and start from what our position has been. 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay, because I know we have gotten a lot of hate mail. People who have called us that we are tribalistic, you are from Bafut and I'm from Babanki because we disagree with the approach of this current interim government. Yes. So our position has always been that running a revolution with the government is not a good idea. And we have stated on this show that every time you bring a government, you are bringing politics. Even though the people will say, oh, let us leave politics now until we get to Boya. But what they are actually doing is politicking. Even that is a political statement. It's a political statement, but yes. they don't accept. Yes. And our people are so vulnerable that they take all of those things and they're spreading it over the place. So I think if anybody who was mad at us for the positions that we are taking as far as governing and this revolution is concerned, I think they can see now. They begin to see the disadvantages. Yes, because now we are not fighting the fight that we are supposed to be fighting against the Republic. Some people are fighting to protect what they believe is their position now. You know, they can't be taking orders from somebody behind bars. Even in the not because the order is wrong, because we're going to come to the orders. Yes. So now it is just about protecting their positions. Yes. So I am the one who you hear about constitutionality. I don't know where that constitutionality came from. Now, where is the constitution? I mean, we have created all of this facade. So they're not talking about the efficiency of, no. of, of the fight. They talk about constitutionality. Yes, that, that is the key word. Yes. So they, they, we have created all this facade, this make believe that things are working. And then people sit there and they tell you that they are talking from the state house in uh, Boya when they are sitting in Maryland. Uh, they, so they, they express our, you don't see any press who is sitting there to take questions and all that kind of stuff. They create this facade to make people believe and they leave the fight and that is what has happened for this one year that Seseko has been gone we have because people have been fighting to consolidate power they have been pushing people aside and backstabbing people and doing all kinds of stuff and what happens when they come and backstab people or push people aside those people just pull them aside. Yes, because they are volunteers. Yes, and they sit and they say, okay, it is your government, as you say, it is the government of the people. Everybody comes out and say, oh, we, it, is, uh, it is our IG. The IG has spoken, Ground Zero has spoken, Ground Zero is with the IG. And you see all these games. I saw a motion of support. You know, all those kind of like public things, we are beginning to see them. Motion of support. One person sits down, uh, uh, Z Z Z Zeb Zebulon in, in, in Houston mm -hmm. and writes out a motion of support for Ndunga Mantu without consulting the people of Ndunga Mantu. Mm -hmm. Then you see, I saw another one from uh, here, whether it was what uh, regional coordinators. We are here in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. The person who signed on behalf of the Midwest had never consulted us in the Midwest to ask us if he, as a representative, should sign something on our behalf as a motion of support. So it is, it is still that extension of, of politics. That is a politics. Yes. So now we are not fighting like public. And they are the ones to come first and say, oh, let us just leave this thing because we are fighting Sarko instead of fighting the enemy. No, it is this idea of government that has given the Republic a pass. And now our people are dying and people are fighting to consolidate power. We have said there is no where there is no revolution like the one that we are fighting, where it has started with a government that is putting the cat before the horse, and that cat cannot pull the horse because it is the, the horse that pulls the cat. So what we should have done is fight the revolution, get to Boya, gain territory, and then begin to set up administrative units. Okay, so as as so, Rogers, with all of what you just said going on, it's fragmented the 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 the, 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 the diaspora, mm -hmm. and so people are in 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 in, in, in factions, and then uh, money has dried up, and so in that meeting, um, uh, I think what 
what Siseko was trying to say was that let's start, let's start to bring these things together. Well, and let's start to bring them together by bringing <coughs> some of the easy ones, like ABC and CBS or and SCBC can, can, can decide that let's, let's come together. That's, yeah. that's easy. You, we did not need Siseko to come. Those are some of the things that it shouldn't have been Siseko worrying about. Those are things that you and I have talked on this show. Yes, and we've talked about them for months. Yes. But nothing changes. What sense does it make to have SCB? Because Chris Arnold believes that he is the one or they are the ones paying the bills for, for, for SCBC. Uh, Abenezer Akwanga cannot come on SCBC because he is criticizing the IG. Or uh, uh, this lady in the UK who invited, she cannot go on SCBC because she is critical of uh, of the IG. And then you go and create, say now, okay, we're going to go create our own. You are, you are talking about ABC TV. What about the radio station? Whether it's whatever radio station that he created before. So look at how, we have said it here, look at the amount of money that is wasted around on these projects that could have been going to ground zero to keep the fight alive. Those, those are the things that we have been saying. And as a good manager, that is what Seseko was saying. Yes. That you cannot be have these uh, duplicated uh, functions or, or, pro or programs left and right. And what kind of a TV it is? A Facebook. TV that is run on Facebook. So you pay the satellite only to come and use the Facebook platform to do your share. Please share, share, share. Everybody share as we join share. So why are you paying that money every month to then still come back and use uh, ABC platform? Uh, 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 Facebook platform. Yes. So, uh, so with all of this going on, the 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 diaspora has fragmented, and because they fragmented with disagreements, there's no money coming in. So, and when and when they remember that they also they only they did not only say they don't take orders behind bars, they also accused Seseko of 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 mental illness. Yeah, uh, uh, you hear Sako also mentioning it, even though he's trying to say, I'm not going to accuse him of that. You, you're indirectly accusing him of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So in, in all of this, as all of this going, and Siseko is not finding any, is not seeing a way forward, he puts out this note. I'm going to read it. He says, message from, message from President Siseko Julius Ayuk Tabe, dear compatriots, Southern Cameroon and Bazonians, after sufficient review, reflections, and consultation upon developments, since January 5th, uh, 2018, and placing the paramount interest of Southern Cameroons, also known as Ambazonians, quest for uh, securitization of our, of our restored national identity and independence, and in full discharge of the moral and legal ob obligation of our servant leadership, I want to extend my condolence to our brave families and reassure our people to remain focused, to remain focused, I hereby announce as follows. Cognizance has been taken of the fact that despite the material and particularly the lives of Southern Cameroons lost to an unrelenting genocide campaign against our people, the caretaker cabinet of the interim government IG has clearly lost its focus and footing in actualizing our restored independence statehood and the march to end the illegal occupation of our motherland and our capacity, uh, our, cap our capital city, Boya. Considering that despite all efforts by well-meaning Ambazonians responding to my appeal to keep the interim government afloat by accommodating the caretaker cabinet while th these issues of infighting in the struggle involving grave improprieties both in management of material and human resources are sorted out, the caretaker cabinet has lost the ability to reconcile our people and in doing so has imperiled the identity and mission of the interim government to complete the decolonization of Southern Cameroons through advancing our collective national interest. It is incumbent on me as servant leadership fiduciary to bring redress to the southern Cameroons and Bazonians to their struggle and their nation from their slow descent into a footnote of our history. So that's what he wrote. And by this note, he, um, 
I think that it sounds like there's, there's more to this. The second page. Yeah, I couldn't find that. But but basically, the point is that in all of this, Sisiko dismisses the, the interim government mm -hmm. of, of, of uh, Sako. No, I, no, he restored the cabinet that was in place when he was abducted. Okay. That is what he did. He restored that cabinet. I remember that we had Sako was part of that cabinet. Yes. So he restored that cabinet with him now at the helm. Yes. So that is what he So does. those who were, all the people who were uh, fired by Sako, they, they take back their positions. Yes, those people, according to the message that he put out, those people were supposed to then come back. Chris Anu and Sako were supposed to stay. Uh, I think Tabeyang and all the other because you know there's and all the newly appointed cabinet so-called cabinet members will yeah. no longer be exactly okay so that is that is what he did so he did not fire anybody he restored because remember if if you go back and read what Sako wrote you know because people like to look at constitutionality and how things are supposed to be when it works in their favor. No, but before you before you move, do you know that this note is really a, a, this a, this an insubordinate note? Yes, but that's what I'm saying. Just listen, just follow with me. If you want to play fair and square, you were the acting person because we did not know where Seseko was. Mm -hmm. So now we know where Seseko is. Mm -hmm. He is talking to you, mm -hmm. and all, remember that all along, what they have been saying is that oh no, we are just taking care of things for Seseko. Mm -hmm. You fire the vice president that you did not appoint, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You dissolved a DOD that you did not create, mm -hmm. that was created by the fourth conclave. Mm -hmm. So you are doing all these things, considering your power. You went to appoint, start appointed, appointing people into the Restoration Council. Yes. So these things, that is not part of the protocol that he wants that Tseseko should follow when it concerns him now because he's talking about constitutionality. Well, I wanted to, when you mentioned this, the, the, the so-called, um, what council was it? Restoration council. When you talk about restoration, I was thinking, where has the restoration council been all this while when all of these things were going on and then it suddenly emerges? Yeah, well, we, we can talk about that. But let me first of all uh, finish. Yes. Because, so if you are looking at it, if he wants to be fair and square because you were acting now Sesiko is around he is the face of the struggle why would you not then honor that protocol just like you are requesting because when he when he fired the other people they, they step back yes because for the sake of the revolution and it's the same process yes so why don't you step aside because now it is about the politics and the power that we have been talking about. Yes. So he can come out and say whatever he says, how he loves Ambazonia and all everything. But from every indication, you can look at where we were in February of 2018 when he took over and where, and where the revolution is today. Because one of the things that we have to do is that we do self-assessment. Always. We have to assess. Are we making progress or we are not making progress? If we are not making progress, why is it that we are not making progress? How can we correct those things to make progress? I have never seen a leadership that does not do that self-assessment. The only thing they do is send people out to go out and make all of that noise. Now you're talking about the Restoration Council. I think you watch uh, one of the videos in the ANPC in Philadelphia, yes, where the chairman, the chairman of the Restoration Council, came and sat down and said he did not know that Saku was on the salary. So if he did not know, and Saku claims that he has all these institutions that elected him, who approved that salary? Who approved it? So those are the kinds of games that people, and I, I described it before when we started this show. I said people are doing things as a facade. They want to make you believe. So they tell you that this organization, this 
there is a restoration council that makes decisions, there is an interim government, there is this and there is that, but nothing is happening. These are a group of friends that Sako has put around. I mean, uh, Elvis Kometa is my big brother. I, when I visit Maryland, he takes me, we go sit and we eat at you. You know, I like at you. Mm -hmm. so, but when, when, when something is wrong, it is wrong. And that is where he has failed. He is the chairman of the SCNC in North America. And I've told him that you have the, the Restoration Council is one of the institutions that the fourth conclave created that was supposed to keep this revolution in check if you guys were going that government way. Because yeah. you and I did not agree. And they let the people down. So our people need to understand. We keep and I will emphasize this. The fact that these people come and blow these things at your face do not believe anything actually happens in that place. No, nothing happens. And I can, the, I can show you WhatsApp communication where these people were prepared to sign that letter that is from the Restoration Council in support of Sako if Kumenta did not sign. You know, the truth has a way of coming out. And there will be more truths coming out that you people will be very disappointed with all these people that you claim we are biased and we hate them because we are from from the northwest and they are from the southwest but i have always told you on this show that i i am for this revolution not for an individual i don't know i don't care where you come from all right so so what so let, let's look at some of the charges they said they cannot take um that they cannot take orders from behind bars. Mm -hmm. And that did prompt Professor Anyangwe to write a piece. Um, and, 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 uh, <clears throat> and in this piece, I want to read a few things that he said. He says, the reality is that the IG is yet to live up to, uh, up to expectation. There are accusations of an itching palm. There are accusations of leadership, conspicuous consumption lifestyle at the expense of the struggle. There are accusations of misconduct, contemptuous arrogance, and patronage management style. So he mentions all of that. But I think the, the, the one of the things that I wanted to read that he said was, um, was about this whole thing about taking orders from behind bars. That when you're in jail, you're not supposed to, uh, as a leader, you're not supposed to talk. So he goes through, through um, he, um, he, he spent some time uh before i go there here he says we have erred in de in designating the instruments for action as a government the answer to what the answer to that mistake is to fix things this necessarily involves serious critical introspective recognize recognition of the mistake development and adoption of a realistic solution and then crafting the way forward so he is acknowledging that the whole thing about government was 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 ill-conceived but I want to read what he says about um, uh, this whole thing about government behind bars. Here it is. Okay, so let me let me let me um, let me read what pro the professor says about um, um, giving orders behind bars. He says, while in jail, Mandela was able to evolve into the kind of strategic leader who, from his solitary confinement imprisonment secretly directed the struggle and, and, and steered secret government meetings that eventually ushered a free South Africa. That's Mandela. Then he says, Jomo Kenyatta, Jomo Kenyatta became the president of the Kenyan African National Congress while in prison. From there, he directed the liberation struggle of the party until his release in 1961 and his voyage to London the following year to negotiate the constitutional terms of Kenya's independence. That's, that's Jomo Kenyatta. During his years in jail, Kwame Nkrumah did not, hand o, did not hand off the CPP he had founded. So while, he, while Nkrumah was in jail, he was still the president. Nor did Robert Mugabe, Malcolm X, Robert Sabukwe, uh, Mohad, Mohadma, Mohada Gandhi, Marcos Gavi, Martin Luther King Jr., etc., etc., sat in their respective prisons, twisting their fingers and waiting, hopefully, for release on some intermittent date before once more engaging in the fight for freedom. They did not do that. Well, see, I like 
what Anyangwe said, and some people did criticize him about Martin Luther King. I think the 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 best comparisons that we can do is the Jomo Kenyatta, uh, Mandela, Mandela, and Robert Mugabe, Mugabe comparison, and also on, on Kwame Nkrumah. Yeah, and Kwame Nkrumah, because those are people uh, Jomo Kenyatta actually. Yes, because those are people that spend an extensive amount of time. Martin Luther King was in and out of prison and all that kind of stuff. Yes. So people flagged him for that. But the, the, the basic thing that... No, but, but the thing is that Martin Luther King was in... We've been reading uh, uh, letters from Birmingham, haven't we? Yeah, he was in prison. Well, he did not spend three months or nine months in Birmingham. You no, know, but while in jail, he was, he was doing constructive things that, that, that today we have them as document that guide us. Yes, that is true. That is, that is very true. But, I, like, you know, because you are dealing with people that cannot understand a fast stretch analogy you have to try to keep things close to home okay that, that's that's what i'm saying because those the people who were criticizing i'm not saying that professor Anyang way is wrong but the people who went online and were making a lot of noise are unable to see that stretch of an analogy so in order to be able to deal with those people you have to keep things close to home so let us use Jomo Kenyatta, uh, 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 Mandela, Mandela, and Robert Mugabe. Yes, you know, so so that pe do, so that people should understand. Yes, uh, that is if they if they have spent time reading the history of these people. Yes, exactly. So uh, the he, Professor Ayangwe is perfectly right. There is nothing wrong with Seseko being in prison and directing what happens in the revolution. The only thing is, are those who are executing those directives that he is giving. Because we are all in this together. People act as if because Seseko is back there, everything that he says is what is going to happen. They don't understand that they get into these meetings and they discuss these things and they look at strategy and how to move, up, move forward with it. And then there is somebody who has to go out and execute that strategy. So but if you are the one who is supposed to go out and execute that strategy and your goal from what we can now conclude is that you had wished that Seseko would never show up again. Then you would make sure that you say, no, we can't take things, we can't take orders from him. He has been compromised. He is working for La Republic and all those kinds of things. No, these people are competing. It's, it's, it's a political competition right now. Yes. And some of the people you are saying who are criticizing uh, Professor Anyangwe, they, those, are their, those are their surrogates and their supporters. Uh, and, 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 and so that is, again, the destructive element of politics. In a in a in a, in a in a in a in a liberation struggle. Exactly, and uh, you know when we say when we come on this show, part of what we do is to look at the big picture of some of these things and address ourselves, especially to the people on Ground Zero, because if if there is no Ground Zero, there will be no struggle. So we know. I mean, Abdul uh, Karim, you saw the message that he, he sent out yes. that he was going to hang his head on, on the diaspora. Yes. And he is perfectly right. You can go back on one of the very first shows that we did on this show. And I said that if this thing goes down tomorrow, it is the diaspora. And it continues to be the diaspora. That is the problem in this revolution. So the, the, what these people have been doing, and let us be very frank about this. The only thing that I owe you people on this revolution is to always speak the truth and speak the truth to power. If you are going to kill me for the truth, I will die happily telling the truth. We have used the Mandela example, right? The reason when Mandela went into prison, was Mandela the head of ANC? No, he, no was, he was not. He was just a lawyer at the time. He was just a lawyer. Yes, and, and trying to, 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 to get in contact since we were going. Yes. But what did ANC and South Africans do? They, they brought him, they, 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 they used him, he became, he became the face of yes. the struggle. And that made the government of South Africa unable to do some of the things that they would have wanted to do with, with Mandela. Yes. And in our case here, when Balao went to prison, what did we do? We, 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 actually, we, we, we did the same thing, didn't we? Yes, because did we agree with him? He was a federalist. Mm. Did we agree with him? No. You and I sat here and disagreed with him, but we said he is one of us. He has gone in there because he stood up for what we believe in. And we are going to stand up with him until he comes out of there. He came out and went the other way and we called him out and we moved on. These people that Seseko left, who actually came after him, did not want because... The people that he appointed. 
Yes. All of these people, Chris Anu and uh, and Sako, were all appointed by Seseko. Yeah, but you know, as human beings are, and when we talk about this politics and the and the quest for power, that is what happens, because you, the person who is behind you is always looking that okay, I want to get to where you are, and that is exactly what Seseko is getting today. So <clears throat> instead of making him the face of the struggle, so that we can protect him and the rest of the people who are in prison, we want to go and tell the Republic that hey. Forget about him. He is mentally deranged. He has been compromised. So that La Republic can take him and treat him as a common criminal. Yes, and, and also treat him as a crazy... In fact, they can kill him now yes. and say, no, he's a, he's a crazy case. You yes. know, he may have caused suicide. And who made those statements? Who made those statements? And all, he would, all they would do is take the statements of, of his representative outside yes. and say, here are the people who have been talking to him every day. And they, they, they're saying, I mean, they're not specialists. But, but you're right. I want, to, um, I want to read a thing here, which, because one of the biggest, one of the biggest critique which a lot of the surrogates are saying now, or people who, don't, who are not thinking, uh, who are not putting a lot of thought into the whole thing, is that, oh, yeah, but he's in La Republic jail. Um, um, uh, you don't communicate in La Republic jail. It's not even that. It's, it's just a whole thing that we, we cannot take orders from jail, which we have addressed. And, uh, but but Sako has, but Sisoko has said, he looked at the whole picture and he saw that the revolution was going down. So in response to, uh, to somebody who wrote to me, I, I, I cannot try to see if I can. I said, okay, what was Sisoko to do with self-seeking people than try to salvage the struggle he worked, he worked for, led, almost lost his life for, and for which he is today in jail? No matter what anyone thinks about his decision to remove the rebellious Sako from acting on his behalf, because that is really what Sako is, acting in place of Seseko Ayoktabe. What was he to do? What were his options? Sit and watch uh, usurpers completely destroy the struggle? With the decision to remove Sako from acting on behalf of Seseko Ayoktabe, Samuel Sako now becomes a pretender in attempting to continue to be the leader of the IG. So, so basically, the argument there is that, okay, so this man is in jail. He's put his life, his career, his family, everything in there. Mm-hmm. And, and, and he looks at the, at, the, at, the, at the time period a year, and everything has gone down. And he calls and tries to work with them. They said, no. So he should just go and sit there and, like, and, and, and fold his arms? No, he had to do something. And that's what leaders do. And what he did was make some of the decisions that he made. Yeah, and... Uh you know, we have said in this show that we cannot come and sit here and fold our hands to this guy to run this thing into the ground. No, we can't. Because this is not his revolution. Yeah. It is our revolution. The people dying on the ground are our people. So we cannot allow it to continue to go down. And that's why we, 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 we keep talking about it. Yes. So for anybody who is out there, who is very honest with themselves, well, I don't care whether you are my brother, my mother, or who, whatever. If you look at this revolution and you believe that uh, 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 the leadership of Sarko has been very successful, because I have asked in this on this show, let them enumerate the things that they have done, and you can see them will say, "Oh, uh, the country is ungovernable." That no, that is not because of what you did. That is because before you people even came in, there were a lot of those things were happening at a very limited level with no money and you people had you 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 bought a good idea galvanized people collected money that you could have even done more and you couldn't do anything and then your fallback position is oh everybody should go back and support their lga okay but i wrote a few things here i want you to i want to see what you think about them let's do them really quick okay mm-hmm. the idea that Sisiko is compromised or can be compromised any evidence of that there is no evidence and i have said on this show that the people that La Republic knows that the people that they, they will not have been any the, the best people that La Republic could have captured are the people that are behind bars today. Yes. And La Republic knows that whether she goes up or down, she is going to talk to those people in jail. Okay. And, and, and I can tell you that La Republic has made sure that those people are healthy and they, uh, they receive doctors three to four times a week I, i'm going to come to that did he did did he make any decisions that 
did he make any bad decision for someone to think that he's mentor? I have not seen any of it. I mean, the people who are saying it are saying it because they want to call a, ba- a dog a bad name so they can hang it. But, but, but let's look at the thing, though. So, so there are people outside who created two TVs for the same uh, population, very broke population. Mm-hmm. And he's saying, no, let's... So who is making sense in that whole process? I mean, Seseko is making sense. And that is what we have said. As any good manager, you don't want to take your resources and just... And we have said... We have very limited resources, and we are supposed to manage them very well. Yes. So what, there is no. There is no. So he is right. So he is right. So 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 most of what they are talking about is it's all speculation, and it's speculation not in good faith because these are people who are competing to keep his power. And why are they trying to keep it? Because of the, because of the what, what Professor Anyangwe calls uh, what does he call sticky hands or something like that, you know. So, so because of the benefits they are getting, not because of the work they're doing, because they have, they, 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 the accusation is that they're not, they're not doing the work, they're instead dividing the, the, the diaspora. Um, some talk about democracy and reconciliation. Um, so, so here, what I'm try, trying to say here is that did, did, they recon, did, did the Reconciliation Council, restoration did council. the Restoration Council do its work in, in making sure that all of what Seseko is now trying to salvage, did, did the Restoration Council function as, as it was supposed to? No, because what, what, and you can, people can understand the, the problem, and I can understand this, why our people react to very little information. If you understand, even though I was against this government thing, the good thing that Seseko did was that he set up uh, the, the very good checks and balances that he set up, whether it's at the level of the treasury, there was there was there, there were very good checks and balances. And when Sako came, what he did was he he knocked all of them off. Yes, and he sat on top of everything. Uh, yes, and then replaced some of so them with his own people. Now, no, not only that, but some people are asking, they are blaming us now. So that, but why did you give Sako so much power that then when he started signing off the money, then now you are coming and blaming him. And I asked some of the persons in the forum that now you want to blame the people for giving for somebody who came in and saw what was there and did not like it because it did not work in the kind of person that he is. Yes. I decided to get rid of it. The reason those things were there, they were there for a reason. And the restoration council that you are talking about, they did not do anything. And and the, the problem is a lot of people said, Oh, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to one people don't want to be accused people don't want to be harassed online you know uh, lambasted called nyamfuka of the week and all those kinds of things so people would stay away from raising these concerns no these are i mean the people are volunteering they volunteer no, but their if, time if you are volunteering and you know that something is wrong like you and i are, are we not volunteering yes is somebody paying us no yes but because we have to say this because all of us depend on this revolution succeeding. So if we let somebody let the revolution down, where are we going to be? No, what I'm saying, Pa, is that if you because if you're going to take a fight with Sako, where where is it going to end? Who is going to make it? Where I mean, where you, the man is just sitting there. It's not like he's doing anything, and no. so you'll be knocking your head around. So you just just you just let him, and that's what he did. He frustrated a lot of people, and they took off. Yes, and who 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 suffered? The no, struggle. But, yeah, but pe- like, like I keep saying, when, when, when the, the struggle suffers, and then we we see how the republic is killing our people, and people are sitting here frustrated, not knowing what to do, and that is why Seseko comes out and takes the decisions that he is taken. Yes, and he did it like a like a strong leader. So, what, what what's your advice to to uh, Seseko at this moment? Well, the he has made the decision. People are not agreeing with it. So because the, the problem with people is that people don't want to do a self-assessment. The people have bought into this idea that oh he's been compromised, he's under like public. No, he ju- look one of the things is that he just needs to make that decision and stick with it. Well, and, and it was a right decision. It's a right decision because what happens if you allow this 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 thing in the house of Sako and he continues the way he has been going? I mean, you're asking me for I have advice for Sako, not for Seseko, because Seseko has. So he has done what we wanted that should happen to get this revolution back on the on trail. I think this question is important because uh, on the 10th, 
Seseko was supposed to announce, was supposed to keep moving the program so we know where, where, where the program is going. Mm -hmm. And my understanding is that it, it did not move for, I, I can't quite give a good reason for it, but there's some delay in, 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 in that. And I think that's why I'm asking, what, what? Would, you, what would your advice be? Should he, they, 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 is he listening to all the noise out there and, and rethinking his, pro his, his, his process or? No, no, he's not listening to the noise. I think there were a group of people that called for a meeting with Seseko and called Sako into that meeting. So Seseko listened to them and there, were, there was a lot that was revealed in that meeting. Even the fact that Seseko had told Sako to tell us what happened in Nara Hotel. Yes. And he never shared that information. I, I, so it is not that... I don't, uh, anything so this, this, uh, this is a completely rebellious group out there that is messing up the, the revolution and, not, and they're not taking feedback. Well, if they came and told you what Seseko told them, then they will have to go back and apologize to uh, Edith Ngam, to Milan, and all the people that they have castigated for all these months. And they don't want to chew back their words. So they take that information and they sit on it. Because the, the, remember, these are people... Now, this information was supposed, to be, uh, was supposed to be read at the Berlin conference. I don't know where it was supposed to be. That's, that was my information. But it, they, it, they were supposed to communicate that information to the people. And as usual, in that meeting, from my understanding, from my report, you know, we, all, we have our ears on the ground. And that is why when we come and we are telling you people things, we tell you those things because we have verified them. In that meeting, Sako said he never knew about anything. And Seseko called people who were in that meeting who testified that, yes, this is what Seseko said. So, so he was lying. It, it, is, it is a perpetual thing. It is a perpetual thing. So, 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 so yeah, per, per wrap it up because, uh, you know. So, uh, what I am telling our people. Yes, because I want us to, to cover as much of this. Yeah, I am telling our people that you are in this revolution because you believe in this revolution. You did not, it is not an individual. Because people have said, Seseko has said, nobody is bigger than the revolution. Why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? Because he has seen that you people are incapable of holding the people that he has left behind accountable. And the revolution is going into a hole. Yes, and he, behind bars, had to be the one who comes and then tries to rescue it. Correct. And then you have all these people making videos and, 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 and shouting on top of their voices without, without, without thinking, without reading, and just regurgitating what... What, uh, what, 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 what is floating around in social media. It's not a popularity contest. We are fighting a war and people are dying. And, and, and we all agree, including some of the, some of the surrogate, we all agree that there have been a problem. The revolution is not going well. And there is somebody behind bars ready to... And I've told people that uh, people who are worried about Sakwa and all these things, Pa, can you... No, Seseko, can you... I don't know if you... Can, can you, can you answer? Because people, I think there's a genuine concern that the Republic is tapping into their information and knowing what's going on. It, 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 how do you address that? Well, it is only somebody who does not know that the Republic is a Congo, it's a banner Republic that would be saying things like that. I mean, they can say whatever if they, there are means that you can do all of those things and do it perfectly. Um, we know that La Republic has tried, but we have been able to keep things going in that place because they don't really have control as they claim that they have control. They have control over keeping you in there, but not, uh, not with what you do. And I, I want to make one more point about please, the please do. please do that you talked about. Yes. Remember, I don't know if you're going to talk about the new cabinet that Sarko put out. I wasn't going to talk about it. Okay, but that they, he, he said he had submitted that cabinet for vetting and approval by the Restoration Council. I can confidently t tell you that from the words of Elvis Kometa, that cabinet that has been put out by Chris Anu and all the other persons have not been vetted by the uh, Restoration Council as they claim. So the Restoration Council that they are trying to take to use for their own purpose, they bypass it when it's not convenient for them. Well, it is not convenient. And, the, and this is where I say my big brother is a problem. 
because we are going to call people out who are not helping this revolution. That is what he told us in private. And I have that message. But he has not gone out to say, no, this government should not have been out because the Restoration Council has not vetted it. He sat quiet. There was an audit that the Restoration Council requested when there was these accusations of misappropriation of funds between Chris Anno and uh, Tabenya. The Restoration Council stepped in and asked for an audit from Sako up till today. We have not seen that, that audit and we have not heard anything from the Restoration Council. But the Restoration Council would be quick to come out and say, oh, Seseko did this, Seseko did that. So the, 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 that is part of the problem. I just wanted to, uh, to, 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 to add that to it. Yes, and, and you know, as we, as we are talking like this, um, there's a document where the State Department actually recognizes Seseko Ayoktabe as the president of the, of the uh, separatist movement, separatist movement in court. So we need to organize ourselves for those who want this 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 uh this revolution to succeed and stop going after i hate to call people names but but let's 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 stop going after failed failed people and failed failed um narratives you know what, what i would say to that is whether they like it or not all of those people who were making this revolution happen in the diaspora are now waking up back yes so you guys are going to see a change back in the diaspora whether Saku is there or Saku is not there to me that is not important yes to me what is important is getting those people who had been disappointed and who have been reassured by some of the things that Saku is trying to do get them back get the steam back in the revolution and get the revolution moving. Yes, and I, 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 I want to throw a, a, a ratio that a lot of businesses use. There's a 20-80 uh, uh, ratio. Mm -hmm. Because among all this noise, there's only 20% there's, there's that's effective. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you can see that I, I, can, I can almost swear on it that the, the, the people who are coming back because the sequel is back are the 20% who are actually being effective. Because, because some of the people out there running their mouths and, 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 re, and regurgitating what I, I'm really withholding myself from, from calling names, what people who have failed us, they're repeating what people who have failed us have said. I don't know if you are for them or you're for Ambazonia because we've given them a whole year with all the support and they failed us. You were with Sako for a while. I was with him too. We all gave, us, gave him our support. It's when he started disappointing us and failing us that we started withdrawing that. And, and, and so a majority of the people in the diaspora have withdrawn. If you want to go back and say, oh no, let's keep supporting them, uh, then you really shouldn't be living in the West because the countries that you've run your own country and come to are countries that are run differently than, 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 the, than the scoundrels are doing with, with our own revolution. But no, we, we did not withdraw our support from him. We did not withdraw our support. What we did was point out to him that these are the things that you are doing wrong that is not helping the revolution. No, but at, at some point, you know, well, we, 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 you know, if, if, if he is somebody who is listening, because we said we are not, we, when somebody comes and criticizes you and points out things that, hey, please look at this, look at this, look at this, I believe that person loves you. That person wants you to succeed. Because if that person did not want you to succeed, we could have just gone home like all the other people and sat home. But what we did was we said, no, we are not going to let this thing be run into the ground. We are going to come out every time we come out here. We'll stay on it. Yeah, we'll point out the yeah. things that are not working. So we were doing that to make Sako correct course and get things back on track. And if he had done that, Maybe Siseko would not have been taking this decision. No, Siseko had to take this decision. And there was nobody else out there trying to do it. The, the commenter guy that you're talking about, you see him partying with him the whole time. You know? So, so it's something which, which somebody had to step up. And, and the, the only adult in the house has been Siseko and his team. In jail. Can you imagine when they come out? Yeah. All right. While, while, we are, while the diaspora, you know, when I read the, the letter from... From Abdul uh, Karim. Karim from home, the amount of importance that he gives to the diaspora, and then the childishness going on in the diaspora, 
those two made my heart sink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, the diaspora, we have said time and time again, the diaspora has a very essential role in this struggle. And that is why everybody on the ground looks up to us. Not that we are the ones doing the fighting. They no, are we're putting, not. They are putting their lives on the line. Abdul Karim leaves to go to Douala and make those statements. And he can be killed by La Republic at any time. Yes. But he is willing to put his head out there and say these things. And there are a lot of them on the ground who are doing that. But we here in the diaspora, we sit here and you, they, they sit with their phones and the type. Yes. They can't even go out there and organize like Wisconsin and bring the Congress people to come and tell them what the problems are. They sit behind their phones and say, oh, Sarko this, Sarko that. Yes. So, so something had to be done, and, and I think Siseko has done that thing and uh, changed his heart, and I, and I think that he made the right decision.